screen um, and I'm going to do that for people that want to read tab so uh, on the um, screen there you've got the part that's written out for the bass guitar actually you could play any bass uh, instrument so I don't know if you play bassoon or cello or double bass or trombone or tuba um, then uh, this is music for you and uh, um, this is how it goes <laughs> Just to explain as well, this the section that we're learning is eight bars long. It's a little section. It's about fifteen seconds long, uh, about the length of a TikTok video, and that that's that's as much as we need. I talked to, earlier on about having these simple sections that we stick together, so we're going to keep it really short. When you record whatever instrument you're playing on, I'm going to ask you to play this over and over and over and over again because then we can cut together um, bits that fit nicely. It could could as well be that uh, during your recording you might make a mistake. Uh, you can make as many mistakes as you like, but we're going to use the best of what you send. Okay, so um, listen to that together with a click now. So uh, if I just press play over here. Two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so learn it, um, learn it by looking at the music, learn it by listening to it, whatever works for you the best way. Um, on the guide track, I've actually played in the bass part already. Uh, I've played in all of the parts, um, so that when you listen to the guide track and you're using that to record, um, you can make sure that your your rhythm matches what you've got. So uh, it should be quite easy to do from that point of view. Okay, that's the bass part. Let's move on to the next. And uh, this next one's the melody, so the top top line melody. And we've got lots of instruments this time. Um, the, now the reason I've, I've put up these different versions, the um, the top one there, uh, it's uh, it's in concert pitch, so it's uh, it's for violin and flute and oboe and um, piano and voice, and those are the notes that uh, is the concert pitch notes. Um, and uh, and underneath you've got a part for trumpet because that's a transposing instrument, so you've got different notes, um, and uh, also for saxophone. That, if you play clarinet, likely to be a clarinet in B flat, in which case follow the trumpet part. Um, if you play uh, an E flat saxophone, and then follow the E flat saxophone part. Um, uh, if there's um, if there's not music on there for an instrument that you play, uh, just drop me an email and I'll send that across to you. And on the right hand side, I've got the piano part. Now the piano part looks complicated. It's really not. It's um, the piano part is that top line melody that all the other parts have got, um, but it's just played an octave apart. So. Um, if uh, again I'll just use that same instrument so you can hear it clearly and this this is uh, how the melody goes <laughs> extra notes as chords at the end there okay so that's the that's the main melody let's listen to it together with a click <laughs> So it's quite a complicated melody from the point of view of rhythm, actually, um, and because it's pretty quick. So you might have to uh, rehearse it at a little bit of a slower tempo and then speed it up until you can get to that point uh, where you can play it that quickly. But as my student showed you, it's definitely, definitely possible um, on all sorts of different instruments. Now, if you are playing it as a piano player, um, start with one hand with your right hand. You might also want to play the bass line. Whoops, that's too low. Let's go up a bit. You might want to try and play to two together. It 
reason it's so tricky is because uh, we use this rhythmic feature called syncopation. So that you'll you'll find that the click will appear in between uh, when you're you're playing your notes um, because the notes are not on on the beat, uh, and that's uh, that's what syncopation is all about. But well, that gives us great energy. And I thought if we we're going to do a piece that is uh, going to celebrate uh, who we are all over the world, we need to create something with great great energy don't we okay so um so we've got three options there play the melody with your right hand play the bass with your left hand play them together or play both hands together but an octave apart like it's written in that part it's not quite as difficult as I, as it necessarily sounds. Um, it could well be that on one of these parts you, you kind of think, well, I'm never going to be able to do that. And then you try it and then 20 minutes later you can play it and you can kind of go, wow, I can do this. And uh, surely that's what this is all about. It's, uh, it's about finding something that's, uh, it looks too hard and then we have a go and then we enjoy and celebrate uh, together what we can do. Okay, now then, um, I've shown you all of the different parts but uh, I haven't shown you yet how to record. Um, so we're gonna go through some instructions together and here are the instructions. So first thing on the top line uh, there you've got, it says uh, your performance will be included if you play in time, play in tune and play with passion. Um, those are the three things that have to be there for us to include you in this. Um, and instructions on the left hand side you need to use the quietest room in your house I've put in brackets not the bedroom however the bedroom might be the quietest room in your house basically the reason I've put that is because thinking about keeping our kids safe um, we don't want people sharing uh, videos of themselves in bedrooms um, or if it's if it's not obviously a bedroom that's not a problem I guess but um, but uh, that's something that we really have to think about as we look after our wider community um, so actually I'm in a bedroom but I, I, I there's no bed in here you can't really tell it's a bedroom I guess it just looks like a, a messy room with a cupboard in the back um, okay so so once you've uh, decided on your room, the next thing is to dress appropriately. Now, I'm not talking about dinner jackets and bow ties, and maybe that will come later. Um, but uh, just dress as you. Um, but uh, make make sure you're decent. Um, make sure uh, y you come across in the way that would be acceptable in all cultures. Let's say that. Okay. Um, anyone else in the room must be silent. That's really, really important for you to get the best recording you can. Um, and uh, but I'm going to encourage you maybe to have somebody else in the room with you to for moral support in fact if there's two of you or three of you live together or maybe a whole family of you live together why don't you all have a go and then you just need to be silent for for everybody while you record okay now what it says when you're ready to record number one tune your instrument to an app like cheer clear tune to make it perfect now clear tune I bought I think so maybe two or three quid there's lots of different tuning apps you can get but just make sure just play an a on your instrument and then watch on the screen it'll tell you whether your a is in tune or not if you need to know um, more about how to tune your instrument then there's loads of stuff all over google to 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 see that but that's really really important uh, put your headphones on number three check the camera image can see your head instruments and hands okay we'll come to that in a minute press uh, for press record on the camera that you're using uh, or, or whatever you can use any camera or any phone to record this don't worry about sound quality we'll worry about that afterwards um, number five press play on the backing track which you will only hear in your headphones that's really important because we don't want to hear the backing track on the recording now number six says clap on the ninth click we'll have a go at that in a minute if the clap is not perfectly in time start again because when you clap um, the reason that I do that is because when you send me your videos, I can then line them up all up together. It's like you're a human clapper board. Number seven, relax and listen. Number eight, play with passion and communicate the music, knowing that what you will, what you do will inspire a lot of people all over the world. And then nine says, we transfer.com your um, video to Mr. Low PVO at gmail.com. Now, that's uh, that site that we transfer site um, is